Hey guys, GNT here, and today, bringing you something slightly different from usual, I, I, I ordered a sled from the Zone of Amma, and, um, <laughs> I was gonna, like, um, cut these ropes off, you know, and then I said, wait a second, I have an idea. Let's do something very ghetto. <laughs> and what I did was I took two chairs, uh, put a towel on the top of each chair, so this this hanger that I have on it would not scrape it up or anything and then yeah like I said hanger took a hanger put it on each one and now I have this thing hanging and swaying also that's a lampshade on the floor back there ignore it ignore it it has nothing to do with this it's just there because it's there anywho today we've got Doom Sizer D3 and I switched the tip to this extreme one because it does amazing things on this here sled stadium thingamabobber. Give me a second. I'm wiping off the tip because it was a little dirty. And we're going against uh, Valtrek V3 Orange Edition to start off because I'm going to do a couple of bays in this one. Also, quick thing, I'm going to be launching D3 after every bay instead of before. Anywho, 3, 2, 1, let it rip. Also, this is quite noisy, and I have decided, oh goodness, that these are just going to be two-point matches. And apparently, Doomsize has decided not to hit its opponent. Great. Wonderful. The flip? Okay, um... Anybody see that burst coming? Because <laughs> I surely did not. Well, um, Valtrek's done. We'll just move you out of here because you, you kind of bursted. Sorry. I thought this would be different. It, it was not. It was... Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Next up, a new beyond. Yeah. A2. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Ah, uh, never mind. I was about to say, wait, the performance tip is still fighting. It's done. It's done. The, the base gone. The freaking energy layer's on the floor. We're moving on. Ha-ha. And, of course, you, you know I, I've tested how, um, how Doom Sizer would spin on this stadium, obviously. I want to see which bay would be the best one to use for something like this. Anywho, next up we've got Satoom S3. Here we go. That one took a little long to set up. Oh! Oh, wait a second. Looks like Doom Sars is losing on this one. Yep. Okay. Not very shocking. Okay. <laughs> I demand a redo because that was that was not the way that was supposed to go. Goodness. I mean, it, it hit, it hit it directly and bounced back out. That's just, it wasn't even a battle. We're redoing that. Shit up! I know about the rules. I can change them whenever I want to. That's really weird. Oh, there we go. It's gonna lose again. It's lost too much power. Yep. Oh well. That's the first bait to win. It was halfway to bursting, but still it won. So we've gotta let it go. <sighs> 
Gotta let it go. Okay, so who should we go with next? Ah, let's throw in an easy burst. An easy burst that probably won't burst now that I said it's gonna be an easy burst. We've got Deep Chaos. <laughs> Here we go. Oh! Wow. Has not bursted yet. And then it bursted. <laughs> I was congratulating you on staying and then you died. Wonderful. Okay, let's go with something a little bit more classic. Oh no! It's on the other side of the room! <gasps> Screw it. We'll go with something else then. Um. Oh, blue Valtrek. <laughs> okay. Let's. Let's. Let's go. Oh! Oh my goodness! <laughs> Complete destruction. Oh man. I freaking love this thing, man. It, it's, it's so awesome. Like all the extra space for movement, it changes up the game. It's not confined into an extremely small space, and because technically there are no edges, they can be knocked out. It's just that it's deep in here, it has a dip, so typically they just hit the side and bounce back in. But there is the possibility of a knockout. I mean, earlier, Doom Sizer hits a tomb and just flew out, so it's entirely possible. Next up, we'll go with Wyvern. W3, it's upside down. There we go. Here we go. Oh! Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Should have known it wouldn't be able to stand up against Wyvern. Let's just let's just go straight back into it. Try it again. Ah, it's losing again. Yeah. It tried. It just didn't work out. Oh, it was almost a burst, though. You see that? Yeah. That was close. But, close does not necessarily mean that it's a win. Okay, now. I think I'll go with Cognite next. The only thing is, with this bay, you'll have to have four rounds for the differences in modes and stuff. We'll start an attack, though. Huh. Well, that's not good. That's not good. It's not good at all. They're just burning energy. This one might be over already. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. Switch to stamina. Ooh. Solid first hit. Barely hit him the second time. Oh, there we go. Oh, goodness. I think it's over. Yeah. Stamina mode was too much for Doom Sizer. Okay. Wow. 
I reached down to pick it up and it burst right before I touched it, so it was probably pretty close. <laughs> Cause it hit that and then it just bursted. Wow. Okay, we're switching around the weight now. Now, here we go. Stamina with the other weight. Here we go. Let me see if you guys can see that dot. It's on red now, it was on blue before. Here we go. Three, two, one, let it rip. No, it keeps barely missing. Ah, oh, there we go. And Doom Sajer takes it. See, with the weight being like this, the stamina mode is not anywhere near as good. But the attack is awesome. So, that's what we're doing next. Attack mode. Oh, rip! Oh! Oh, man! Doom size is killing it right now. Now watch Doom size burst. <laughs> it's like I got this. Don't worry about it. Oh, and Cognite takes it, just barely, but still it takes it. <laughs> Goodness, that was what three one, just demolished. All right, well then. Ooh, yes, this will do nicely. If you're wondering what I'm talking about, it would be Drain Fafnir. Red edition. It's probably going to be hard to see on the stadium, but I think I left the regular colored one on the other side of the room, so this is the one we're going to be doing. It's unfortunate. But I have Doom Size's Hunter tip on it, so. Should at least be interesting to watch, right? Just going ahead and insert that on the left. And the funny thing is, here's the thing. I'm using the regular launcher, but I do have the string launcher. It's just so weak. It's so very weak. And it makes the battle so much less interesting. So. Let me pick this up and let's get prepared for Fafnir. Oh, goodness. Oh, wait. I was about to say Fafnir's too strong, but it's wobbling. Oh, and Doom Sizer takes it. Not even close to a burst. Now, here's the thing, though. Now that I'm thinking about it, the string launcher, because I, I have two of them. I thought they would be more useful. <laughs> but it'd be perfect for um Fafnir, because Fafnir doesn't need to be as fast in order to win a battle. So, I'm going to string launch Fafnir this time. Give me a second. I'm going to put... Doom Sizer on this launcher here. Send him over to the side. Okay. Three, two, one. Let it rip. Ooh. Oh, the hits are too solid. The hits are too solid. Just knocked Fafnir straight over, man. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought it was going to be an awesome battle, but it was not. Okay, now, speaking of battles that are not going to be awesome. <laughs> we've got Maximum Garuda here. And, goodness, this is, this is, it's probably going to be a dull match here. Alright, give me a second. 
do do do. Just have to rub off the tip of this thing every once in a while. Picks up crap too easily. Here we go. Oh, I may have been wrong. Doom Sizer may have not won, but it made for an awesome battle. Pick this up like this so it doesn't burst when I touch it. Okay. Now here's my thing. I've been holding back on Doom Sizer's launching. But this time, I'm gonna do that weird angle launch. It's gonna be awesome, trust me. Have to get perfectly lined up. And let's go. Aw. That's about it. First few hits is pretty much all that you can do to get rid of this thing. <laughs> Once you slow down, it's one. Unless you magically burst it. Nope. Oh well. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do just one more. But which bay should it be? Let's go with this one. Uh, I think his name was Quetzico or something like that. I can't remember. It's it's. It's been a long time since I unboxed this thing. Cause I don't think I ever used it in a video. Like I got it, unboxed it, never used it again. I think it was Quetzico. Anywho, three, two, one, let it rip. All right, let's use that powerful lunch again. Go, Doom Size. My goodness. Oh, it's missing. No, no. Oh, here we go. And Doom Sizer takes it just barely. I thought it was going to lose for a second there, but it just barely took it. Here we go. All right, let's do a sliding launch this time. That did not work out. It did not slide like I tried to make it do. It bounced. And it's completely missing. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that was bad. That was bad. I've been practicing launches. That one did not work out the way it was supposed to. I'm sorry about that. I'll just go back to the other one. <laughs> Apparently that one is not fully prepared yet. RIP! My goodness. It was so heavy. Well, I guess that is it. Anticlimactic, though. So, I guess we could throw another one in there just to have a, a more interesting ending. Because that one was kind of dull. Let's go with um, Unicrest. I believe your name is Unicrest. I hope this thing's name is Unicrest. I don't remember. <laughs> it's been so long. Three, two, one. Let it rip. And I remember I used to love that bay too, because it was white and red and it was a unicorn. Thought it was super cool. Now I can't even remember its name. Oh. The flip? A tie? Oh, it looks like Doom Size of One that, but I'm going to call it a tie anyway. Just so I can squeeze out two more rounds. What, huh? <laughs> it's 
Let it rip! Oh! Oh my goodness! Doom size is waning! I think it's done! It's weakening! No! Okay, wow, that's a little bit of a shocker. Hmm. The biggest problem is it's not hitting early on. It's basically what's killing the battle for it. Doom Sizer has to get initial hits. Yeah. Another problem is I have the camera right here. So it's throwing off my lunch. But I can't get in a better position because I have to have the mic. So it's unfortunate. Actually, you know what? Let me try something real quick before I end this video. Let's go. And... Nope, still misses. I'm not hitting the proper angle. See, and that's the thing, when you have something this big to use your Beyblades in, you actually have to worry about angles. You have to learn actual lunches because the stadium's big. And you have to be able to target your opponent and not just go around them. Because I've been doing a slight lean. It's not the full lean that I would usually do on Doom Size, or at least the lean I was practicing doing, which is more around here and a lean and then a pull and then it go like ha 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 pow pow and then boom uh let me see if i can do that here camera's still kind of in the way though uh rip that one did slightly better it's it's really weird. You just you barely change the angle of where you're launching from and it changes up the entire lunch. Oh uh, goodness. I kinda just I, I I want the last match to be epic, you know? I wanted something awesome, something to go just boom. Amazing, but it's not what we're getting. It's unfortunate. I know what I'm gonna do. Okay, this will be the last one, seriously. And I'm going to slide over to this side a little bit more. Dang it. Get on the launcher. Gosh darn it, steel lost. Son of a gun. It just doesn't work if I'm not in that position. It's unfortunate. Alright. And it's over. Yep, that's unfortunate. Anywho, I'm going to end this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about doing vids on this thing instead of the regular stadium. I'd really like to know. I think it's pretty fun. And I don't know. I have, it's just, it's so much more fun launching a bay into something this big and having it go around and do different types of launches it seems so much better you know than my freaking super small green stadium over there <laughs> uh 
One more lunch for the road? Yeah, one more lunch for the road. Three, two, one, let it rip! Also, I'm not launching as hard because I'm trying not to hit the camera. Let me try something. Sorry. I said one more lunch for the road, but this will really be it. I'm going to get in a better position. And I'm going to fully pull this thing and hopefully not knock over the camera. Three, two, one, let it rip. Yeah. Yeah. I can't launch from this angle. I'm going to find another way to record this better at a different spot. So you guys can, you know, uh, you know, see more, more power from launches and whatnot. Anywho, this has been a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Peace out and have a great bay. Let's see if it stands up when it's done. Yeah. Boo boo boo. Boo 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 boo. All right. <laughs> Look at how scratched up the stadium is when you zoom in on it. Let's just let's just pull that back out. Yeah. See you guys next time. Peace out. And have a great day. I've already said that. I'm just repeating myself now. Goodbye.